As union membership grew throughout the 1870s, uh, so did the fear that middle and upper class people had of the unions. Um, partially, this had to do with uh, fear of immigrants, because a lot of the people that were coming and joining the unions were immigrants, those cheap, unskilled labor workers uh, that uh, were hoping for an eight hour workday and, and better wages. Now, almost none of the well, I would say almost none, but uh, most of the majority of the people that joined unions were not radicals. Right. They're not these. Uh, extremists that we're going to talk about in a moment. They're not anarchists. Anarchists believed in uh, no government. The government corrupts and that we needed to get rid of the government. Uh, and they're not socialists and they're not communists that want the government to control the means of production. Uh, they simply want to get better working conditions and better wages. But there is a fear among the middle class and the owners really did a great job of linking this fear of radicals to immigrants to unions. Um, and it really helps to break those unions. Um, there are a few incidences along the way that, um, that, that made the middle class worried through the violent reactions. Uh, one example is the Haymarket Square incident in Chicago. About 40,000 Chicago uh, workers were on strike. Uh, there were some clashes, uh, I believe May 3rd of, of uh, 1886, where uh, the workers were attacking scabs. Right? That's how they get the name scabs. They get beaten up by the, the strikers. Um, and they do that so that the scabs can't take their jobs. That night, there's a mass protest uh, in Chicago's Haymarket Square. Um, all the workers came. They're listening to political speeches. Uh, the police, nervous because of the violence earlier, uh, come to break it up. Uh, while the police are surrounding Haymarket Square, uh, somebody, likely an anarchist, uh, threw a bomb, killed seven officers. Um, this is much like today. When an officer gets killed, there is going to be a huge backlash. Um, the officers, the, the rest of the officers round up seven anarchist leaders, most of all but one of which were uh, German speakers, which means they were an, uh, probably immigrants tied into this fear uh, that the middle class had. Uh, the seven anarchist leaders are going to be executed on very little to no evidence connecting them to the bomb thrower. Uh, but they needed uh, the, the government, the, the middle class, the people felt that they needed somebody to blame this on. Um, so what we're seeing here is now a backlash to the unions. In 1886 alone, there's going to be a huge number of violent conflicts between uh, workers and uh, scab workers and management. Um, so all of this is going to lead to a tension that's going to force the unions to kind of change tactics and uh, change uh, demands.